Hi, my name is Mike Best. I'm with the Cambridge Customer Service Group. Today we're going to talk about our TSS, which stands for Temperature Setback System. First off, this is what we call a TSS CAN. And the CAN basically entails the thermostat and all the uh, lights and the key switch and the door lock. But first off, I'm going to discuss the lights on the, the TSS panel. First, we have the reset light. It's a yellow, amber colored light. If this light would ever be illuminated, that would mean that there is a problem with the system, whether it didn't fire or there's an issue with one of the components. There is the mode switch, which is a key lock, which is summer ventilation, off, and heating. Uh, summer ventilation is a continuous mode, and the heating is an as a intermittent mode, typically. The blower light is a green light, and that light comes on whenever the blower is running. The red light comes on whenever the burner is firing. On this panel, on the TSS only, there's also an override timer, which is a two minute egg timer, basically. What this timer does is it allows you to bring the program back to the occupied mode, and then once the timer expires, it dumps you back into the setback mode, which is the unoccupied mode. Then there is the door lock. Now, if you open the panel up, what you're gonna see is your, your TSS thermostat, you're going to see your terminal block, and this is the block that is used for your field connections. You have R, H, F, A, B, Z1, Z2, G, and W, but now all these terminals will be up top in the heater terminal block as well, with the exception of Z1 and Z2. Z1 and Z2 is only located downstairs in this panel. You also are going to get, like I said, your thermostat. Inside here is what we call our SH1 cover. This is basically the cover that encompasses and protects your thermistor. So when this gets installed, there's two knockouts on top and two knockouts on bottom. Typically, they, put the, they pop the knockout on the bottom of the can out. They put this thermistor out that hole and they install the cover in line with that hole. So once again, this must be installed to protect your thermistor. Now also inside of here, there are your keys. The heater ships with two brass keys and two silver keys. What these keys are for is the brass key operates the door lock and then the silver key operates the mode switch. And also inside this panel, when it ships brand new, there will be an actual schematic of the heater and a technical manual that discusses the operation of this thermostat. Now once in a while this system is sold with an EDSM control system. EDSM stands for Electronic Discharge Space Modulation and that's a Max Control 44 series control system. Whenever you have that, you're going to have one of two options. You're going to have a standalone thermostat and this is a T244A. Whenever you see a thermostat or a thermometer and a dial on this one control, this will always be shipped in a box inside of here. So once the install installer installs this panel, this must come out and typically they mount right on the side of the can. This control must be in the space so it senses the space temperature. And what this control does is it tells the amplifier up in the heater whether it needs makeup air or space heat. So whenever this dial is satisfied, let's just say it's on 70 and it's 72 degrees in the space, it's going to tell the amplifier it needs just makeup air. Whenever it's below 70 degrees, it's not satisfied. It's, it's going to tell the heater it needs uh, space heat. And it's going to ramp the discharge temperature up to, up to possibly 160 degree discharge. Now, this is a standalone stat. If a tamper-proof system is sold, it's that same stat broke into two pieces. On one piece, you're going to have a thermometer and no dial. One, you're going to have a dial and no thermometer. The dial will always be factory mounted by Cambridge right inside this panel right below the thermostat. Now once this is installed, this component which is a TS244A will always be shipped loose in a box. This must be mounted outside the panel in order to sense the space temperature just like her original T244A. This was one component only. Remember, the tamper proof is two components. Now, on the one control, you have a thermometer and no dial, and this is your TS244A, which S stands for sensor. On the other control, you have a dial and no thermometer. This is a TD244A. This is what is used to set your space, desired space temperature in your occupied mode. If you ever have those types of thermostats, if you have a question, please call the Cambridge Tech Support Line.
Next, we're going to discuss the thermostat setup as far as setting the thermostat time, day, and schedule. Okay, first when it comes to setting up your thermostat, you have several buttons on here. You have a month and a day, you have a year, a day of week, a time, heat on, heat off, and of course your up and down arrows to set these things. First we're going to set our month and our day. So when we do that, we push the month and the day and we hold it in, and we're going to hold the up arrow until we get to the current date. Now if you're later in the year, you'll press the down arrow if you're like in November or December you're going to scroll down not up through every month. So today is 7-11 so we're going July 11th then we're going to release that button now we're going to go to our year and make that 2016. Next we're going to go to our time and it is 2 p.m. currently. Whenever you first power the thermostat up it will always be at 12 a.m. As you can see, I plugged this in 41 minutes ago. So we're going to hold this time button in, and we're going to go to 2 p.m. Now, going down is quicker to get to 2 p.m. than going up in this instance because I haven't got to 2 o'clock yet. So I'm going to scroll down. Okay, so now our time is set. Next, we set our day of week. Today is Monday, so we're going to scroll to Monday. Okay. Now for programming our heating and ventilation mode, we must make sure our key is set to the mode we're trying to program. First, we're gonna do our ventilation mode. So we're gonna turn our key to ventilation mode and just remember the ventilation mode is a continuous operation mode. Typically, Cambridge recommends you run the ventilation mode at night. So from midnight to say 8 a.m., that way the, the blower shuts down and you're not bringing the heat of the day in from the outside. So we're going to go with that. So we're going to basically say schedule exit button. We're going to push it once and it's going to say on. If you hit it once again, it's going to come out of it and it will always alternate between your temperature and your space and your time. So once again, we go back in on, we hit our time button. It's going to say Monday through Friday will be lit up. We're just going to go to 12 a.m. We're going to release it. We're going to push the up arrow once. It's going to say off. Hold the time and we're going to go that, make that 8 a.m. Now, as you can see, the Monday through Friday is lit up, so we're only studying Monday through Friday. You can also see the vent mode light is on. Remember that vent mode light is on, the blower should be running. And then now we hit the up arrow again, it's going to say on one. Now, there's also presets in here for up to uh, 14 separate programs. You can basically program two per day if needed. But typically, most folks are only going to run one shift, maybe two. So you know, a lot of times you can utilize that Monday through Friday and set those preset times in. And remember, what you're doing is you're setting your occupied mode. Typically, unless you're in the ventilation mode, ventilation mode, we're basically going to program our unoccupied mode and bring in the cool air from the night when nobody's, uh, nobody's there and the, pretty much the doors are closed. Now, if we exit back out of this, it'll go back to our temperature and our space and then our time. Now if we turn our key to off and then to the heat mode, we can program our heating program now. So now we're going to hit the schedule exit button once and we're going to basically program two shifts to run consecutively for this example. So we're basically going to go from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, release the time button, push the up arrow, it's going to say off. Hold the time button in again, Monday through Friday is lit, we're going to go to 10 p.m. So basically what we're telling the thermostat is it's occupied from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. and it's going to maintain our heat on, heat off set points. Now we push the exit button out of there, once again it'll alternate between our temperature and our time. Now our heat on and heat off, what this is, is this is for our occupied mode only. So we're going to have it come on at 62, which it already says, heat off at 65. You always want a differential of 3 degrees typically. Sometimes you can go to 2. Cambridge does not recommend 1 degree because it may cause short cycling. Or once you get past 3 degrees, it's going to be a noticeable swing in temperature in the space. And we find 3 degrees works the best. So once again, it's 62 on, 65 off. 
from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through Friday. Now let's say you're going to work a single shift on Saturday. What you will then do is push the up arrow again. It's going to say on one. We'll say 5 a.m. to noon. Now we have to set the day as well, because if you look at it right now, it shows Monday, which we do not want. So we go to day and make that Saturday. So on one, is going to be 5 a.m. on Saturday. Hit the up arrow again, it's going to say off one. We're going to go to noon. All right, then once again, once we release it, we must change our day again. We're going to make that Saturday as well. So you can also go back in the program by pushing the down arrow. So now on one will be Saturday at 5 a.m. Release, push the up arrow. It will say off one. It'll be 12 p.m. on Saturday. So therefore, that is our occupied mode. If we exit out, once again, we go back to our temperature and our time. So from Monday through Friday and Saturday, we're going to maintain 62 on, 65 off. But now what happens as of 5 p.m. or when our occupied mode ends? The thermostat setback light will come on. When the setback light comes on, it will maintain our setback temperature. On this one here, we were on at 62, off at 65. We're just going to make our setback temperature, for this example, 55 degrees. And now the differential will carry over. As you can see, 62 on, 65 off. The differential of three degrees. Now our setback, when you push that button, that is always your on temperature for your setback mode. So that means 55 degrees will be the on temp, 58 degrees will be the off temp. Cambridge recommends not going lower than 10 degrees differential as far as your occupied mode and your setback. If you choose to go lower, you must bring your thermostat on earlier to heat the building back up before the occupied mode begins and the space can warm up. Now once again, when you're in the occupied mode, this override timer will do nothing for you. A lot of folks believe that the override timer is, forces the heater on no matter what. That is not the case. Whenever you turn this override timer, let's just say, for instance, here this is one hour, it's going to bring you back to your 62, 65 until the timer expires. Then once the timer expires, it puts you back into your setback mode. In conclusion, inside the door of the control panel, there's always going to be an instruction sticker on here that you can use to follow to set these uh, programs up. Also on here is a Cambridge tech support sticker. And if you ever need parts or tech support, our phone number is on this sticker. And there's, like I said earlier, there's also a manual inside of here as well. And in the heater, there will be a manual as well, so you can consult the manual to find out how to program this thermostat. So always make sure whenever you finish programming the stat, you always close it. And Cambridge recommends always locking the panel and giving this key to the building end user or the building manager. It's okay for them to have control of turn the heater off and on, but if these keys are left in this door lock, employees will get in there and alter programs and that may cause issues. If you have any questions or problems at all, please call Cambridge. Thank you and have a great day.